Last night was the most fantastic night I, I've ever had. I was given an award by the League Managers Association at the uh, Grosvenor Hotel in London, chauffeur driven from door to door. And at the Grosvenor, it's a fantastic place. It's, I've never been there before. And uh, I couldn't believe it. 900 guests sitting down for a, a four course meal, coffee and mints as well. And uh, I, I knew I was to receive the award about um, a month ago, but I, I, was, I was absolutely amazed. I was shocked and surprised, very, very pleased and uh, proud and honored too. It was given for outstanding contribution to football in general and Ipswich Town in particular. Why I've enjoyed it so much is because I was working for and with such super people. If I hadn't enjoyed my career working there, I wouldn't have been there last night. I was very pleased. I was told I could have a guest and I asked David Rose to come with me. David joined us from school the age of 15, four years after I joined the club. Before I joined the club, I had been working four years at Revels Engineering Company in Ipswich. And uh, uh, roundabout way, I got an invitation to uh, see Scott Duncan, who was the secretary manager there um, in 1954. They just won promotion from the third division south to the second division. And uh, then um, Alf uh, came a year later because we were relegated, unfortunately, with Scott Duncan. He was a super lovely old Scotsman. And uh, he retired from being manager and continued as a secretary. And then the Elf, great Elf Ramsey came and put Ipswich Town well and truly on the map in those days, but nobody had heard where Ipswich was. <laughs> we played in Europe and uh, he was a fantastic manager, but he showed so no, no signs of emotion. Uh, I can remember him being interviewed on local television, Newman Sanders, and he said, Elf, congratulations. He said, you've won the championship at the first attempt. That means we had never played in the, ch the championship before uh, and we've never won it, as, as nobody has won it ever since. He said, first time, congratulations. How do you feel, Alf? Alf said, I feel fine. And uh, then um, Jackie Milburn, War Jackie, Newcastle and England player. And unfortunately, some of the players, they, they abused. He's, he was so kind and nice and uh, it affected his health. And then Bill McGarry came, a uh, very hard manager, but he got us uh, promoted. Um, he didn't say please and thank you when he came to it, but he, he had mellowed by the time he left us. And then he went on to become a manager of Wolverhampton Wanderers, called me for some information on the phone a few weeks later. And I said, oh, how are you getting on? He said, don't ever be persuaded to come here. And then Mr. R came. I remember seeing him, he was scouting for the late uh, Dave Sexton um, for Chelsea, I think it was, because Dave was the manager of Man U and Chelsea. Anyway, Mr. R was scouting, he came to a match and I said to somebody, this was in the November 1968, and we had no manager. I said, that's Bobby Robson. I wonder if he's, I know he's looking for a job. I wonder if he'd like to come to us and he was appointed the manager in 69. I worked for him as secretary at Portman Road, 13 and a half years, in all 36 years as his PA. He had his uh, secretary at, uh, at the FA and I saw her last night at the dinner. Saw some fantastic people and uh, I, I, somebody, oh well it was Laurie McMenemy, Southampton, he was quite friendly with Mr R. I saw him before the game and after the game, when he knew that I'd got the award, he said, Bobby would have been very proud of you.